it's been like for you um, the, uh, the times you got the chance to go against uh, Tony kind of Brown in practice and those days so far? I uh, mean, it's been awesome. You don't get the opportunity too often to go against a specimen like that, an elite player, and to be able to match up with him in the slot, you know, with this great division of slot players, that's going to get me better, and it's going to make him better as well. What are your thoughts about this? when you have to drop into the slot? I mean, a guy like Eric Harris, who's been there before, and just really that entire safety group um, that uh, you've been working with, how is that kind of that working? Uh, my teammates have been very supportive, trying to catch me in. Um, I like the culture that Coach Gruden is creating around here, family-oriented. And it's been brotherhood and it's been love since I've been here, which makes me comfortable being at that position. Coach Gruden has com compared you in the past to, uh, to Rondé Barber, who he said one of his favorite players he ever coached because of his versatility and different things he can do in the scheme and the fact that he was still always healthy, always playing, always ready to go. Do, do you know Rondé's game at all, or have you ever met him, or what do you think of that comparison? I've met Rondé uh, personally. I met him a few times, had a lot of great conversations with him, and it's a big honor to be compared to that guy, but at the end of the day, I have to live up to it. So, I mean, it's a great compliment. It's just giving me, you know, an edge, a sense of love, and give me an opportunity to work towards that, because he's a great player. Your ability to, to do those different things, and be in the slot, and be a safety, and be a corner, and do you kind of do for the defense what they brought Antonio in to do for the offense, considering he's moving around a lot, too? <laughs> I never looked at it that way, but I guess you can say that. Yeah, I'm here to win. What's the biggest challenge being a slot, playing in the slot as well? Um, I believe, I wholeheartedly believe that slot is the hardest position on the field, especially after play the run game, the pass game. So just having a guy with the ability and the mental aspect of the game to be able to handle those challenges. How easily do you feel you're able to kind of toggle back and forth between that and the safety position? Obviously, you've got to do that throughout your career, but how quickly can you like flip the switch? Uh, football is pretty much the same. The X is all. It becomes, you know, rhetorical. Like once you keep going over and over, it's just the terminology. So once I get that down in this game, I'll be able to do what I've been doing all my life. Marcus, bigger picture kind of question, I guess. But what are your thoughts as a defensive player? on the pass interference rule and being able to be challenged now, the tweaks to that uh, challenging situation. <laughs> Hopefully it plays to the defense favor. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yes. Jonathan Abram put something out there on social media just saying that he used to watch tape of you when he was in school and being able to work with you now is a pretty cool thing. Uh, what has that dynamic been like? And, uh, what? Uh, is that building into a good working relationship? It's been a great relationship off the field, knowing that knowing that I've been entrusted with a big responsibility to influence great guys like that. Like I told him and Trayvon, they're going to be greater players than me someday. So to be able to have that honor and that privilege to guide them and them trust me with that, that's going to uh, transition into a good work and off the field relationship. What do you see from him in these, in, in these kind of early stages? <laughs> He's an alpha. He just has to slow it down. He's ready to go. He's been uh, out for all his life. And I told him he just had to th think. I mean, keep his feet on the ground and let things come to him. Can you remember when you were that age that maybe you were kind of the same way? <laughs> yes, I remember being that way, which is why I know, you know, with experience that, you know, just relax, your time will come. People know your um, great abilities and your potential. In your time, like, you see, do offenses target the middle of the field more maybe than when you came in, whether it's with tight ends, slot guys, running backs? Is that more of an emphasis in passing games, the middle of the field than it was maybe? I think with the ability of the arm talent nowadays, quarterbacks, and especially with the rules and the targeting and the different things, quarterback takes more take more shots in the middle of the field. But if you have a you know great center fielder, then you don't get that as much. So, For years here, cornerbacks came and they put we're a press man and we don't do a lot of different stuff and we're just going to beat you with our better players. Um, now the way they're talking, I mean, they're going to do a lot of different things with you. It's going to be more confusing. What's the preparation level got to be like for you? If, all right, I'm going to slot this one. I'm going to center field this one. I'm on the outside on this one. I mean, could that happen in the same series? I mean, it can. It yeah. can. But to get back to what you said earlier, we're trying to get back to a, to a team, to an organization where we can line up and if we want to play press man, you know what we're in, you gotta beat us because we are just better than you. But mixing that with the different things is just a plus that we get to do with all the ability and the talent that Coach Gruden is bringing in here.